Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Burner Final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's uh, video. Day 10 will take us to the 3rd of May. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the uh, GFS and ECM Ensembles. Ray Rodrano and Winks. We'll have a look at the uh, CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us into the second half of May. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video they say was our 6am UK web forecast and we've also released the uh, seventh summer update we're going outside the box uh, with that one so uh, please check out today's two vids if you'd like to do that and thanks so much for doing that like share subscribe on the videos thank you so much everybody and I hope you're having a lovely Sunday as well very chilly isn't it today very chilly I don't know, do you? <laughs> anyway, having a lovely uh, Sunday. Right, centering temperature hasn't updated at Hadley, so uh, the wait goes on. Find out what's happening there. Well, as soon as we get some sort of update from them, uh, I shall let you know. Uh, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average. We're at London again today. We're starting off about average at the moment, but a cold snap is developing today. And uh, the next two or three days are actually going to be uh, quite a bit colder than normal. A recovery in the upper air temperatures then takes place at the end of the coming week and into the bank holiday weekend. And then after that, you'll notice the GFS operation run, operational run, since this thick green line takes off and becomes a very uh, warm outlier indeed. So uh, once again, we see the excellent GFS operational run doing something uh, a little bit strange. Actually, it looks like most of the ensemble members, the, the, the ensemble mean, um, is reducing as we go towards the end of the first week and into the second week of May. So after a warm-up there, looks like most of the ensemble members are cooling things down, but the GFS operational run uh, really takes off and becomes quite a warm outlier. Precipitation-wise, it's going to be more wet weather to come over the uh, next day or so. However, there will be a drier interlude as we get um, through tomorrow and Tuesday and, and on Wednesday and whatnot. And then after that, the rain comes back later on in the week, but at the same time, the uh, temperature will lift up. And then it just looks rather showery, really, as we go through the first week of May. Not you know, not especially settled, let's put it that way. Temperature anomalies on the 23rd of April to the 1st of May are below average uh, for the UK and for Ireland as well. Most parts of Northern Europe looking cooler than average. I've got some quite cold nights to come in the next two or three nights. Cover up your de <laughs> delicates. Precipitation anomalies on the 23rd of April to the 1st of May. They can be out driving average in the north near a normal uh, further south. South. Later in the from urbanoldschool.net shows that northern layers are beginning to dig back in again. Look at this. Wings starting to turn back into a north or a northeast direction. If we drag the map down, you can see that the air is originating from a long way north. We're going all the way up, you know, towards, <laughs> towards uh, with, uh, with the air mass. And it's on its way southwards through the Norwegian Sea and into the UK and to Ireland as well. So it is going to be feeling pretty chilly, I think, in, uh, in, the, in the coming days. Right, so let's go over the chart data. Then in South Asia, you can make your run until midnight on Wednesday. A rich route against you then, as the air pressure is developing in the Atlantic. As we go from um, Wednesday to Thursday, we find this low pressure pushing in from up. And that will bring showery rain with it. But also start to introduce some milder temperatures to the south. Anyway, it's a bit of a struggle to get those areas of low pressure and the milder temperatures northwards, though. However, as we go into a bank holiday weekend, signs of a bit of a rich building through the country and starting to bring up more of a southerly, southeasterly influence. So we should see the temperatures lifting up as we get into the bank holiday. Uh, Icon, again, with that to Carl Bridge of high pressure in the country on Wednesday. It most mostly dry, quite chilly. And then lower pressure is coming in from off the Atlantic Thursday, Friday, bringing outbreaks of rain, but also a mild push winds from the uh, southwest as well. On into the weekend, we've got low pressure out to our west, the ridge to our east. It's trying to settle down, but these areas of low pressure looks like they keep an influence, really, into the uh, bank holiday weekend. So Icon probably a little bit showering for the bank holiday weekend and not completely settled there, I don't think. 
The GFS Midnight Run once more has that Richard High Pressure building through the country on Wednesday. It's a cold ridge as well. Then Thursday, Friday brings low pressure in from the southwest. Up the outbreaks of rain in from off the Atlantic with it and introduce some large push of winds from the southwest as well. Into the uh, back quality weekend, a ridge of high pressure, <coughs> excuse me, a ridge of high pressure is building through the country. I bring mostly dry weather uh, at Shumma GFS Big Dyke Road and warming things up as well. Not a heat wave, but certainly becoming a little bit less chilly through that quality weekend. And then beyond that, actually, the high pressure strengthens through the country through the uh, first week of May. So quite a big area of high pressure, being lots of dry and quite warm weather. Eventually, you start pulling up like a southerly, southeasterly with this area of low pressure in the Atlantic. Well, that looks potentially a little bit thundery, doesn't it? That's going into the coronation weekend. This is Sunday, the 7th of May, with low pressure out to our west, high pressure to our east. We are bringing up like your southerly flow. So I imagine it will be very warm, that. But um, does look potentially a little bit wet and volatile. Maybe there'll be some bangs for the coronation. I do know, do you? Um, and then we go beyond that to Tuesday, the 9th of May, and we're looking uh, rather showery, and back under a shallow trough of low. The GFS 6Z, again, with that rich pipe. Now, we know it becomes a warm outlier because you saw it on the ensemble graph, remember, just here. So let's see how that happens. GFS 6Z, again, with that rich pipe pressure building through the country on Wednesday into the uh, weekend, or uh, well, the end of the weekend into the weekend, we find low pressure coming up from the southwest, um, bringing outbreaks of rain. And then once that gets out of the way, a really Ridge starts to take over for the back holiday weekend itself. So that ridge should settle things down away from the northwest anyway, should be quite a dry weather. And with the air starting to come up from off the continent, it should be uh, a little bit warmer as well. Now, this is how it becomes a warm outlier. High pressure strengthening from the Azores, a nice ridge there. For me, as always, high, being a lot of dry weather. That's Coronation Day, the 6th of May, with high pressure again over to the east of the country. Should be mostly dry and pleasantly warm with that. And then the winds turning to the south and the southeast as we go. Uh, to the end of the GFS 6 Z Again, just think you have a bit of a fungi low or something, a fungi trough coming up from the south um, with that. So probably quite warm. Well, definitely quite warm. We know that from the ensemble graph, the upper air temperatures. So warm, but potentially turning a little bit fungi and a little bit volatile there as we exit the first week and go into the second week of May. If you're enjoying the video, then please do you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Weathers. It's amazing. And it's incredible. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. GM, again, the risk of high pressure building through the country on ways to bring mostly dry but quite cold weather into the end of week. Low pressure red comes in from the Atlantic, brings outbreaks of rain, but also starts pulling in milder southwesterly winds into the bank holiday weekend. Low pressure still just to our west southwest, so trying to settle down, but not really doing so. It is warmer, though. We are bringing up the wind from more of a southerly, not southeast direction, but GM. Actually looks quite unsettled for the bank holiday weekend. That's a bit of a worry uh, for the uh, bank early spring bank holiday Monday, 1st of May. Um, actually got an area of low pressure there over the top of the country. So that would bring showers or longer spells of rain. And, um, you know, it could be, quite, could be quite cool as well with that. Uh, up to day 10, high pressure building out to our north and west and bringing more of a north or northeast flow. So that's trying to settle down, but it's still quite cool. And then the ECM looks like this, with high pressure reaching through the country. Bring mostly dry and chilly weather on Wednesday, then low pressure back in from Atlantic Thursday, thriving outbreaks of rain, but also introducing a milder southwesterly flow. Into the bank holiday weekend, high pressure rain starts strengthening over and to the east of the country, turning things drier, but also warmer, pulling in the wind from an easterly direction. Um, so, you know, that looks quite pleasant as we go into Bank Holiday Weekend. Not a heat wave, but it does look quite nice. And then heading up toward Day 10, the high pressure is maintained. It's actually strengthening. So, uh, I think at Day 10, which is the 3rd of May, Wednesday the 3rd of May, uh, we've got some warm air sitting just well southwest with other ridge of high pressure. I reckon that would be, that would be quite pleasant if it, uh, came up.
This is a precipitation forecast based on that ETM run from Tometio.com. Showers on local spells of rain coming and going over the next uh, day or so. As yet, Tuesday and Wednesday, the trend will be towards drier but also cooler weather. On into the end week, more wet weather piles up from the southwest, but this time it's introducing milder air from the southwest. Then high pressure takes over for the bank holiday weekend, turning things mostly dry into the bank holiday uh, weekend and even beyond it, looking quite pleasant. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. This gets us to the 3rd of May. 22 members of the ECM ensembles, including the control and the operation run with high pressure over and to the south of the country. Low pressure is away to our west and northwest jet stream and wind flow doing something a little bit like that. So that turns dry and warm, that includes the control and the operation run. 15 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure over France, low pressure in the Atlantic again. That's looking mostly dry and uh, relatively uh, pleasant. And then we've got 14 uh, with high pressure between Iceland and Scandinavia. And uh, that could be putting in the wind from a rather cool north, northeasterly direction, but should be mostly dry. In two weeks' time, this is the option that we've got. Look away now if you want to set to weather. This is going to be 8th of May. 51 out of 51 members of the ECL ensemble bringing low pressure in. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Through uh, the country of the Atlantic uh, in two weeks' time. If you go back to the 6th, which, which of course is Coronation Day, you can see that uh, also that is dominated by low pressure by all members of the ECL. Ensemble, so that's a little bit of a concern. That's a little bit of a concern for the uh, for their majesties. Uh, right, CFSB2, uh, it's a long way off though. CFSB2, uh, and then we've done these are 500 millibar height and knowledge breaker down into week periods. The first week period, change number 23rd, 29th of April. Between we have low pressure to our east and out in the Atlantic. A ridge will be down towards Spain, Portugal, with a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland, too. Very complicated scenario, but the upshot is we're bringing him a win from a northerly direction there. Week two, big change. This is going to be the third change of uh, April to 6th of May, ridge of high pressure building through the west of Europe should turn things mostly dry and warm. Week 3 <laughs> is going to be the 7th to the 13th of May with high pressure around Greenland and down towards Spain, Portugal, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, so that all looks rather mixed and unsettled again. And then, where am I going? What am I doing? <laughs> Week four, getting ahead of myself, will be the 14th to the 20th of May with high pressure over and to the east of the country. And that will bring the wind up from the south. Good gracious me, lots of topsy turvy weather. That will be warm if it comes up. But with the low pressure in the Atlantic, of course, we'll watch out for a thundery breakdown. But um, yeah, a lot, 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 a lot of chopping and changing there, a lot of intra week variations, suggesting quite a mixed. May, but uh, we shall see. Okay, for real this time, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for everybody doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about gas weather. It's a thank you so very much everybody for doing that. I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. You're going to have 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. It'll be a 10 to 14 day mixing as well. Probably an update for the bank holiday. Uh, bank holidays, I should say. We've got two of them. Um, the coronation weekend, of course, which just seen is now within the time frame of the GFS. So, we'll look at both of the bank holidays. Probably in a video uh, tomorrow morning. And um, if all of that wasn't enough, we're going to be live streaming at um, 8pm tomorrow. So, it'll be live uh, across YouTube and live across the world tomorrow at 8pm. And uh, I think we're going to look at some long range of values. Like a chill and relaxed live stream. But we'll have a look at weather, of course, for a weather channel. So uh, we'll have a look at the 12 set operations. I think we'll have a look at some long range, probably the Bayesian Climate Center. And of course, as ever, the CFSV2 will be included as well. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.